Holy moly, 600 pasture raised organic birds in one tent? <laughs> Beautiful sunrise this morning. How about a time lapse? Absolutely beautiful. Gonna be a beautiful day. Gonna move some chickens. Gonna go pick up Christy at the airport today. Hawaii tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Everybody, this is Jerry and Hello. Scott. Today. Good. What's your role here, Jerry? Uh, basically, try to get things started in the morning, get things going, um, oversee our day-to-day -day operations on the in the pastures here, and try to keep these birds alive, and the sheep and the dogs too. So yeah, our pig. And one day, yesterday, I saw you get up at three o'clock in the morning to take the meat birds to the processing, and then I saw you at the warehouse at twelve. It had already been a nine hour day for you right. by 12 o'clock. Right. Did you go take a nap that afternoon? So I did. I finally okay, was good. able to get a good. a good nap in. I never said it was going to be easy, so <laughs> um, it's not a bad job. Well, how sure. appropriate the Wyoming t-shirt on because the people in Wyoming are tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we definitely, you have to get that way just because of the seasons alone. I was, I'm actually from Wyoming. So, oh, there you go. Yeah, it makes so sense now. It, it makes sense, <laughs> but I'd worked several jobs, and if most of the jobs in Wyoming require you to be outside as it is. It's a good fit here. I love what I'm doing. Good morning, man. Morning. What is your name and what is your role here? I'm Scott, and I... Help out Jerry with whatever he needs help on the or on this farm okay. and wherever anybody else needs help. Jerry, what are you doing here right now? Well, we've got to get the feed out to our chickens in the pasture, and the feed is shipped to us in these totes right here. Fortunately, we don't have it in our convenient silos today. <laughs> but, uh, They're sitting right yeah, there. Two of them sitting <laughs> empty right here, but that's just the way it goes when the feed comes and. We weren't able to get it in there, so then we just do it by hand. On this farm is their organic chicken operation, organic pasture. And we'll just take the Kubota in my truck down. Okay. So if you want to back the Kubota over. Let's take 10 buckets down. Okay. First you gotta pull this. Why metal, not wood? I guess that's how they designed the cages. Mm -hmm. But also it wouldn't rot with the rain or fall apart. This is what they had the last time I was here, a year and a half ago. Step one is gonna be catching a bird. Uh, this is kind of like Rambo style. You just climb in and grab one, basically. One of the <laughs> <laughs> it is so loud in here. We used to have a lot. Hey, we used to pull them. Now we come up with but now you have, what do you call that? We call that the range coop, the RC. Okay. Short. And is that is that the new way now for you guys? Is yes, that is the new way. Because instead of a pen with 80 birds individual, all 80 birds in one pen, you gotta push each pen. Yeah. That can hold 600 birds, and you pull it at once, and you're done. I see you got a guard rooster out here. Is that what's going on? Um. <laughs> that was one of them. We had four big ones left in a cage that we had never taken to slaughter. Yeah. And we just let them roam around. That's a Freedom Ranger. Sir, yeah, those are the, that's a Freedom Ranger. Does the guard dog do an adequate job protecting the flock? Yeah. They've killed a couple of coyotes. We keep the predators out of here. Hey, big guy. You guarding this flock? 
That's a big bird. That's a big bird. Freedom Range is a rooster. Holy moly, 600 pasture raised organic birds in one tent? <laughs> Time to move. Time to move the pasture poultry tent. I'm sure there's a better name for it. We call that the range coop, the RC. Okay. Short. Anyway, here we go. Here we go. He's back here to make sure none of them get run over. Using a herding paddle, it seems to be working great. A beautiful sight. They figured out how to humanely raise 600 birds at one time. Look at this green grass. These guys get moved every day. Gotta watch out for the uh, pole as it goes through. Beautiful sight, beautiful sight. A humane way to raise hundreds of birds at one time in one shelter. Ooh, these are going to be some of the best birds you've ever tasted in your life. Well, you lost a few. You lost a few, Scott. <laughs> what they do, fall out the back trap? Yeah. That's pretty smart. So you won't kill them. Come here, big guy. What's the matter? What's the matter? Why transition into these big structures as opposed to the little ones? Um, probably a lot easier on us. Less labor. Uh, less time it takes. Um, you're able to get in there and work around. Um, we can actually keep a better eye on them. Uh, we can observe them a lot better. Uh, the, the feeding and the watering process is pretty streamlined. And yeah. um, so, for a, if you've got lots of land, bigger operation, these things. If you've got an acre in your backyard, then maybe the the smaller coops are better. But, yeah. Uh, I was going to say. Have, you probably wouldn't want to transition to this until you get maybe 500 birds. Yeah, right? or yeah would you exactly. Want to do it exactly. Yeah. Um, I don't know. If if you've got the time to use, if you've got the time that it takes to to run the smaller coops, then then go for it. 
uh, yeah. but uh, and you and only run 500 birds or 600 or whatever. But uh, this has just kind of changed how we how we go about it. So you got 600 in there. 600 birds. In that this gives one. them how many square feet? Uh, it's 20 by 40. And you move them every day, so they're getting a lot of square footage. Yep. So see, they're getting a new square footage every day. Every so it ends day. up being thousands over a lifetime. Yep. For a bird, how much did this cost? It's a pretty penny. I don't know the number okay. exactly. But, how long does uh, it take for it to pay it for itself? It depends on how fast you're moving birds, though, too. Yeah. But I'd say with within a year. Wow, so that's maybe good. Two. That's great. This way we're in with the birds too. We have a better idea on, on the health and the situation. Um, we can see the feed that they're, they're getting. Um, nothing's in the dark with the other uh, tractors that we run. We do have um, some blind spots in them and you kind of find out after the fact if something's um, gone wrong or whatnot. But our, our watering, we're able to get in here and work with it and work around and move around a lot easier. So I know all the guys are happier to have these too. So in the summertime, uh, this breathes a lot better than those smaller tractors do. Okay. So we yeah. get some ventilation going through here. We do get some, some pretty good winds that come through here that, that it's able to come over the top of the birds, cool them off some. Um, a lot more temperate climate in here. The heat is able to rise and escape out of the roof and then uh, they've got plenty of shade and they're able to move around. Plenty of space for them too. So, so this is kit. This range coop is a kit. Yes, it is. Okay. So and if somebody wants it, they just need a Google yeah. range kit. Okay. Yeah. You get it at like farm tech or something like that? Uh, we went straight to the source. Okay, cool. Thanks guys. You're doing a great work. Keep it up, bud. All right, thank you. All right. On our way to the airport, y'all, to pick up Christy, our dear friend from North Carolina, yeah. our babysitter. Are you guys excited? Yeah! Whoa, I think they're excited, Mom. I think you're excited, too. Yeah, I yeah. am. You see, Hawaii is where we had our honeymoon. Yeah. So we want to relive some of that and have a few dates. Yeah. Celebrate our marriage, take some time for our marriage. A whole lot of that on this trip. Relax a little bit. I'm hoping. I'm hoping for a little bit of relaxation. I yes. don't know if it's gonna happen, <laughs> but maybe. All right, let's go get her. Uh, we have arrived at the airport. Christy is hanging out at the ozone. <laughs> It seemed like wherever that is it's down at terminal so two the so that this is still terminal one yeah. Yeah. look out for her and say bingo we're at terminal two right here what airline did she fly i guess she doesn't i don't even know i booked the flight and i don't even know two zones away from seeing miss christy there's l zone we are in the christy. city christy. I see Ozone. She's right next to valet parking. You see her? <laughs> no, but I see Ozone. Oh, oh, I, I think I see her. She's got sunglasses on. Bingo! 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 Y'all see, see her? Oh! She's, ready to dress. she's in the Hawaiian dress. <laughs> is she on the phone? She might be. No. no she's not. Okay. She is all dressed up. Alright. Come on. Come on. Hey there. Hey. <laughs> You're looking nice in that dress. Thanks. It seemed like the perfect travel thing to wear. Okay. Yay. I'm so excited to see you. The kids are like, ah. Oh my gosh, you're taller. How are you guys? <laughs> oh, she's hugging me. Oh, look. Go you're hugging the wrong that. person. Hi. 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 Edit. <laughs> How are you? Are you free now? Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> you, You're not sure what to you do. You happy to be back with Miss Christy? Yes. Oh, I'm happy to see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're heading back. Getting, getting ready to pack. It's going to be a crazy day. Situating Maple. Packing everybody's clothes. 
It's gonna be nuts. We see you guys tomorrow. Where right the beautiful one gets to do her favorite activity. Fly on an airplane. <laughs> Christy, you like flying okay? I do, I love flying. You do? I don't mind it. Okay, you'll be there, hold her hand. I'll be the cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be the cheerleader? Look at okay. that airplane. It's like, it's crazy wow. how, well, we're flying out. Of okay, here. kids, well, now that you've flown, do you guys like flying? Yeah! You like flying? Yeah! Just say, Jonah, you like it? Yeah. Just say, you like it? Kind of. Kind of? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. Ears. What's the matter with it? What My do you not ears? like about it? Oh, your ears? Yeah. Anything else? 